Hi everybody, I'm back with uh, the CCNA lab session on how to make uh, or how to define and implement an ACL. We made this uh, network in our last lecture. Uh, reference to the video on how to how we made this network will be added in the description, so you can see how we made this network if you are not following and today we're going to see how we can make first the standard ACL and then secondly the extended ACL so let's start by making uh, standard uh, standard ACL first so go into your configuration mode uh, there are two things that you need to know the ACL is defined in the configure terminal mode the global configuration mode and it's applied on the interface in which we want to it to be applied so in this uh, lab we will be using this uh, network the router is serial 000 interface and we will be implementing our policies on this so and this is the outside of our uh, network and the fast ethernet side is our inside so let's start by giving an ACL and uh, for the router to know which ACL we have defined there is a list of numbers that we can use to define which one is uh, standard and which one is extended if we define give a number between 1 to 99 it will be a standard ACL and if we give a number from 100 to 199 it will be an extended ACL so let's start first we have to see if there are any uh, ACLs okay so there are no ACLs present because it showed no uh, output and uh, you can command uh, type the whole command I just used the short so I'm uh, I'm gonna be using the short a lot okay so let's do there is no ACL so let's define an ACL I will give it a uh, number 9 and then I will write that in this ACL I will be denying the traffic of this PC that has an IP4 to this network okay so for that I will write ACC deny 200.100 sorry 100.50 I'll maximize it dot 4 with the wildcard mask okay and that means that uh, this wildcard uh, means that it's all only a single IP and I will press enter and my ACL is complete after this there is an invisible line in every standard ACL that writes deny any so we don't have to do that because we just only want to deny that IP but we want to permit all of the others so we will write this line so we can override uh, the last line so we will this and our definition of access list 9 is complete and there you go you can see it by do show access list and the access list is there and after that we have to implement it let's test it first I will show you if uh, the thing is working for example here you see it's working the ping is going on that network and we can test it to another IP2 there you go it's working and now we will see that after implementing go to interface 000, 000 that's the out interface and we are implementing the policy on the outside so and we will write IP access group okay and then write uh, after IP access group we have to uh, write and the command uh, or the list number that we use we use a list 9 and after that we will be using either it's an outside policy or an inside we're using out that when a, 
uh, a packet is trying to get out of the network apply this policy so if you apply that command and then we again go to our PC and try to ping the network let's see what happens there you go reply from there that ID is unreachable so that means that we have cut off that network from our so that's what we wanted to do but if we uh, use any other PC for example this one and we try to ping 100 on 100 on 100 it's pinging so only that PC is not allowed to do anything in this network but the other PCs can do so I will just close this so this is how you can implement uh, a standard ACL so if you want to erase it just write no before it and go back and write Uh, you can just write no ACC and the list number and now if you do show ACC there will be no list again so that's what a standard list do so let's check how we can make <coughs> uh, how we can make an extended list okay so let's start by making ACC for example 101 I give it a number 101 because it's an extended so it should be 100 or greater than 100 and lesser than 199 so let's see if we want to uh, you know give uh, if we want to uh, make uh, these pieces for example here and if we want them to just uh, ping this network but not telnet for that for I will have to configure the telnet here for example just give me a minute configuration T and then get line VTY sorry it's VTY 024 and then password is ENA and then so it's ready for accepting a virtual terminal connection so let's see if we want to do that that uh, we don't want anyone to tell it uh, that router but they can ping so let's do that for example if I want to uh, make that happen 200 dot 100 dot 50 dot 4 and it's a single uh, IP so if we can either use the wildcard that we used earlier or we can write host before that IP and then first before that we have to write deny ACC deny and then which service we want to since talent is a TCP service so we'll write deny TCP host this the IP and then host 200 dot 100 dot sorry I will maximize it 100 dot 100 that's the destination host and then after that we write EQ for equal and then write uh, the service name for example talent and then press enter so there goes and after that we have to write ACC 101 just like we wrote in uh, uh, in the uh, standard ACL we have to write this again permit IP any and any okay that will uh, erase uh, or override the one line that's not visible but written in the extended ACL just like the standard ACL so after that if we're going to show ACC there's our access list and for example now we will try to you know ping 100.100 and then try ping 100.100 so there you go the ping reply is there but if we try to tell it 200.100.100.100 CCNA and we are 
in the B and that's happening because we have only defined the ACL not implemented the ACL so that was a test that our network is working fine so let's go into our interface and then apply this ACL IP access group what is the access group number we have written 101 and on out and there you go so now if we try the same thing again from here let's see telnet there you go it's just trying and after that we'll say connection timed out because we have turned down the access but again the ping is still working and that's what we wanted to do and for example if we want to and do this for example on a, a list of IPs we can do that for that we have to give the command to show run to get into the running config and in there we have all these commands copy that we cannot uh, use uh, we cannot add it to uh, any command or any ACL in the Ronux we have to remove it and then edit it so if we want to give a host of IPs we will use the host for and then we will use the wildcard and in the wildcard we will miss the IPs for example this we have mentioned that apply from 4 to 3 plus 6, 7, 5, 6 and 7 I mean 4 to 7 IPs will not uh, will be denied from the service so for that we have to first say no ACC 101 and then apply paste ACC 101 and there you go so now we will there goes the ping it's working but if we do tell it it's not working it's the same as others now we will test on the next ones this has ip5 ping there you go 100 the ping is working and if we tell it it won't work because we have denied the access to telnet and there you go it's six ping 200.100.100.100 the ping is working and if we try to tell it it won't work as same for all and this is the last one that we implemented on it has ip7 there you go the ping is coming but if we try to tell it it won't work there you go and if we use this PC this has this PC doesn't have this IP in its range and there you go it replies and if we tell it it asks our password we give the password and we are in B there you go all other PCs remain unaffected but we just have it, the ACL effects the one that we mentioned in the list so that would be all on how to uh, implement ACLs the standard and extended ACL on the network that we made and you can practice on other networks uh, yourself thank you take care bye for now